Hey aviators, Chris Palmer here. I am a flight instructor and I actually left for a while during the winter time here in Alaska to just go get some sunshine down in the lower 48 and that means I kind of abandoned my students and I need to get back into it. So with Sienna, she has been out of flight training for a while. I want to get back into flight training with her and make sure that she is on track to solo. So that's what this lesson is going to be all about. We're going to go do some stalls. We're going to get back into the pattern and just get her knocking off the rust once again. So let's go. You get to come along and be part of this journey. Get weather, okay. Homer, airport information, India time, 2147 Zulu, wind 210 at 7, the weather is better than 5005, temperature 2, dew point minus 5, altimeter 29078, favored runway, 22 left traffic, Southern Beluga Lake is closed, seaplane operation, hello the port, I request to contact Homer Radio on 123.6 for traffic advisory, advise on initial contact you of India. Okay, now, what do we do with this information here? All of it. I kind of wrote down the important stuff. Um, put it in here. Okay, hey, good. So, like altimeter 2978. Actually looks like it's the same. You see that there, 2978? And 2978 is there too. See the tick, so each tick is two, so it is at the, t the tick below, which is two. So it's two less than 2980, so it's 2978. And then runway 22. So, which direction does that mean we're going to take off? I was just about to ask you that. You've got a cheat down here on this compass. Right, that way. Correct. Yep. Cool. So, we're going to back taxi here and take off that direction, okay? We'll do a left hand turn out and climb up over the spit, go to over to our practice area and do stuff over there. All right? Cool. Okay, well, there's a goofy. I got that out of my system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now let's call Homer Radio. Um, you want to just do it? Do you know what to say? Not all of it. Homer Radio, Information Juliet, holding short. Runway 22, because that's the one we're planning to use at Alpha. Homer Radio, 2423 Uniform, holding short runway 22 at Alpha. 2423 Uniform, Homer Radio. Good afternoon, no reported traffic. Wind 2206. Cool, and now we can say... Basically, we just do our thing now. We can say thanks, and then Homer traffic. 242 through uniform, back taxi runway 22. I'll make that radio call. 23 uniform, and you guys have information, Juliet? <sighs> yeah, we do. Where are you guys going? Okay, so we're going to be going over to McEwen Flats for some air work, and then we'll be back for some pattern work. That right, sounds good, thanks. Homer traffic, 242304, we're uh, pulling out on the runway from Alpha, we'll be back taxi, runway 22, and we'll be taking off from the Elephant Ear. Yep, go ahead. Okay, yeah, power all the way in, feet off the brakes, heels on the floor. Dancing those pedals right on center line, beautiful. Air speed's alive, engine's green, and oh, here she goes. Lima, Lima. We're uh, three to the north, uh, planning overhead for uh, off traffic. There you go. Chicken number zero one Bravo Lima, Homer radio traffic, Cessna just departing off runway two two south by Long Spit. Here I want you to make a radio call, uh, Homer traffic, 2423 in the form, where we're at, 
and then, which is tip of the spit, headed across to McEwen Flats. 2000. Homer traffic, 2423 uniform, tip of the spit, heading across to McEwen Flats. 2000. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. We can fight for that altitude more, but we'll just kind of hang out here and uh, do some turns and stuff. So during that process, I do want you to try to maintain altitude. So why don't you start a clearing turn to the left, and then we'll do one the other direction. Okay, Bay Traffic, Skyhawk 2423 to form 2,700 over McEwen Flats maneuvering. So I want to talk about the approach to landing stall because that will be instructive for getting back into the pattern again and just the importance of you know staying coordinated through that process recovering if we want to do a go around but it would feel like if you got too slow that sort of thing because you're pretty close to solo so we want to kind of know those those steps of how it could go bad obviously stopping it before it gets as bad as we're about to show but then also how to recover from it so um, I'll show one to you first and then I'll have you do it, okay? So my flight controls. Your controls. My controls. Turn back this other way. Do a little bit of a clearing turn here. Do a 180. So I'm going to bring it wings level about right here. And I'm going to add my carb heat. And I'm going to slow down to an approach speed. So that will get the process started to slow the airplane down, okay? I'm bleeding off my energy. Um, I do kind of want to get into a landing configuration, so in the white, I'll start to add my flaps. And so when we do a go around, we're going to, do you remember the steps? The uh, power up, way. pitch up, clean up. So we would go power first. We would pitch up just enough to get the airplane flying again and then we'd clean up the flaps one step at a time as we speed up, okay? So here we are, we're approaching the runway. We're, this is actually like our approach speed, right? So this could be pretty normal. But then I bring the nose to the horizon. Okay, and we wait for the stall. All what we're doing right now is bad. Airspeed's getting too slow, right? You hear the whistle. We feel things chirping and shuddering. And I'm gonna power up. Right rudder, by the way. Power up, pitch up. I just have a slight pitch, you see that? And we're still slow. And clean up, one notch first. That's gonna get rid of a lot of drag. We're still climbing ever so slightly, right? And we're just gonna do it step by step. Eventually, we'll get those flaps out all the way. And we'll be able to climb out without losing any altitude at like a normal climb rate. See, there comes our climb rate back. So, it's the recognizing the steps and then recovering from the steps, okay? We have to practice these maneuvers at a certain altitude, so I'm going to turn back and we'll climb back up. Okay, cool. I don't see anyone around. We just did another clearing turn. So now let's set up for that approach. So go ahead and pull your carb heat. Okay, we're slowly going to walk back to power and just do it fast enough that you can also keep your back pressure and pitch, okay? Go ahead and creep it on back to about 1600. And you're keeping adding pressure as you're doing that. Good. Okay, we're slowing down. You can add your first notch of flaps. And kind of add your second notch. We're still fine. And I think, yeah, and then you can bring it up to three. You can bring it up to three. We're going to do three. Hit right there. Good. Now power idle. Just let it get in a normal descent, a normal approach. Okay, about 60. All right, so this might be how we approach the runway. It's pretty normal. I know you can't see the runway. It would it would look pretty similar. All right now you do what you shouldn't supposed to do, which is what? Pull the nose up, right? Yeah. With no power. So go ahead and do that. 
keeping the nose on the horizon. And, and hold the nose on the horizon, you're going to keep adding back pressure. Keep adding it. There's the stall warning horn. If you ever heard that, you'd recover there, but we're going to show you the aerodynamic buffet. Whistle. And even more. Okay, so there's the aerodynamic stall. So power up. Power up, power up, power up, all the way in. Good. Okay. Keep the attitude under control. Right rudder. Okay, attitude under control. I'm going to give it back to you. You feel the pressure. And you can take that trim off as soon as you want. Okay. So power up, pitch up, which we've done here, and clean up. So first notch second notch and I want you to get that trim forward push it forward see how that's relieving you now yeah okay that now the whole time we were climbing but we'll get better at those steps like this is eventually something that you'll just I'll ask you to do and you'll do um, and then you can do this last notch without sinking good flying it out good nice right rudder good okay so again it's the recognizing the problem if you even get to the horn, you're, you're going around, right? We took it beyond that. We got the plane to stall. And then um, the steps of recovery, power up, pitch up, clean up. So, all right, that's it for out here. Let's go practice some landings. Cool. Are you enjoying this video and want to learn more? We have an entire library of structured videos on angleofattack.com. We call this online ground school and it's how you'll ace the written test required by the FAA. It's go at your own pace and all accessible right now on any device. Go check it out yourself or recommend it to your friends. Now back to the video. So what we're going to do now is enter a 45, so it'll kind of be that angle there for the downwind, okay? So go ahead and fly that now. Homer traffic, 2 through uniform, turning on a 45 for uh, the left downwind runway 22. We see the Cub. We're just over uh, the boat yard. So he's got us in sight, we got him in sight. So now we can think about slowing down, right? We're getting down to our altitude, so pull back the power, but don't let the nose come down. Right? That's going to bleed up our speed without losing altitude. A little bit more. So now we're right at our pattern altitude, so we don't want to go lower, right? We keep pulling it back. Now you can do first notch of flaps. Kind of getting to that configuration we've always talked about. Okay, now parallel the runway. Okay, just fly to the side, good. And add a little power and keep the nose up because we're dipping down now. So uh, aim for like 2,000. Oop, there you way. go, yep. Good catch. Okay, good catch. Okay, here we are, nice and steady and trimmed, right? Do you feel trimmed? What happens when you let her go? Yeah! Cool. Okay. Looking back to where we're going to land. Okay, our next step is we're going to be doing the left base. We're pulling power at the same time as we turn that left base. There you go. Keep walking it back as you're turning. Homer traffic, 2 3 no form, left, left down on the base, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, a little less power, like 13. Be light here on the controls. Look for traffic. Don't let the nose come down too much. Okay, and turning final. Okay, I just gave you 30 flaps, okay? Are you power idle? Yes. Okay, now you are, yeah. Okay, nice and loose on the control. Let's get back over here. If you needed to retrim, you could. I feel like we need to. Somewhere right in there. Nice and steady. Okay, keep it on center line. I'm using my feet too. Okay, you're looking down the runway. You're flaring. Feel that? Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Oh. My controls. Okay, good. 
job. Good job letting go. So, what could have happened there is we could have kept doing this. Right. So the way I would have recovered is just power and get out. Alpha. That was fine. Uh, we did fine. I see a bunch of traffic coming inbound for 2-2. I'll okay. Depart in sequence. Go ahead. Okay, so that looks nice. We're a little fast. But your power idle, right? Yeah. Animal traffic. Let's do one more notch. Do you want to be idle as you're turning final? Uh, with this new wing, kind of. Okay. A little touch more power. Touch, 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 right there. Just smoothing it out on us a little bit. Okay. I'm on my rudder, keeping it center line, and now pull the power out gradually and hold it off. Keep holding. Keep holding. Keep holding. Ooh, yes, yes, good. Um, the attitude was, you pull it into a little bit too high of an attitude. I would have rather see you, like, keep the runway in sight, but have the top of the cowling touching, and then it might have been a little more firm. That's okay. That was better, much better. And you, you recognize the height and everything. All right, good job. Let's do another one. Oh. Homer traffic, 2 3 four, base to final, 2-2. Two, two. So you've been idle this whole time? and see how it's working out. All right, now we're going to do, when we're over the numbers, we're going to do the third notch of flaps. Okay, trim so it feels better. It feels heavy to me. Does it want the dive on you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll go third notch. That's just going to put on the brakes a little bit. Okay, there you go. Nice and steady. Eyes down the runway. Okay, round out, burn off. Yep, good. Settle it in and flare. Hold it off. Hold it off. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, I didn't help you on that one. Oh. I coached you, but I didn't help you. Awesome. Okay, didn't flap. Crash. Yep. <laughs> well, never. Uh, flaps up. Okay, are those really down? Okay, they're down. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, I'll let you do everything. Nice and coordinated, get back on center line. Alpha's clearing at Alpha. Okay, a little light there, you gotta get ahead of it. There you go. Okay, nice steady speed at 60. I like the power setting. Oh, you just pull it out a little bit. A little bit more power, back to where you were. That ah, feels fine, it feels fine. We're at set 70, it's doing fine. Okay, nice and loose, everything loose. Everything loose. And final notch flaps. Okay, keeping it steady, keeping it steady on the center line. Keep coming down a little bit. Now to walk the power back. Eyes down the runway, keep it straight. Good, nice save. You pulled it there at the end. Didn't quite have enough time to cushion it, but you still cushioned it better than a smash in the gear, okay? So you're getting a little, like, and, and we'll get rid of it, but like, you're getting a little, like, tense and tight. Especially on the final approach there. But as you relax, as we get back into it, you'll do better at it. Just, hey, let the airplane do its flying. If you prevent it from doing that, it's going to be really, like, feel really squirrely and harder to control, you know? A day like today, where there's hardly any wind, like, we really shouldn't have to touch much. We just trim it and kind of let it do its thing. And we'll have a little nudge here and there and, and all that. But I'm really pleased with... Really pleased with like where you're at after being gone for so long. You picked it up fast again. Radio calls, not so worried about. Um, Is it the, right up here? Yep. Okay. It seemed like your airmanship came back pretty fast, you know? All right, it's good to be back. It's good to be flying again with Sienna, and she did pretty good for us having been away from each other for several months. She's getting really close to solo, and we're just going to keep working on it. So thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to Stick Around if you aren't already. There are a lot of you out there watching these without subscribing. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thank you for being here, and until next time, throttle on.